You've had too much coffee. What are you talking about? After two cups, your signature slants. After three, it's scrawls. And after four, it's chicken scratch. They're not going to accept these. You're crazy. How many cups have you had today? Five. How'd you do that? That's what I do. I read, I analyze, I fix. You're wearing a blue shirt, which means you won big in poker last night. You missed a spot shaving, which means you had less than five hours of sleep. And your left wrist, which you claim you sprained playing basketball, still hasn't healed because your loud tie is hanging ever so slightly to the left. Loud, by the way, because you won big in poker last night. For your information, I didn't lose sleep just because of poker. Yeah, you did. Melanie's not in the picture anymore. You knew about Melanie? And Charlotte. And Nadia. Okay, I don't want you working for me anymore. Harvey, stop playing footsie with your secretary. The McKenzie brothers are here. We need to get these assholes to cave. I had an idea. Night owl murders. We're not using an idea you got from L.A. Confidential. How is that different from you shooting a dead guy just because Sean Connery did it in The Untouchables? What are you prepared to do? Is this supposed to be Sean Connery? I don't even think that you can do Connery better than me, Junior. He's a lying member of an old good race. He's up, James Bond. So, you gonna come out and say it? Say what? All those observations. You're into me. I'm not into you. I'm Donna. What's that supposed to mean? It means I could do the same thing with Bertha that I did with you. All that means is that you're into Bertha too. Mm, what if I am? We can have a threesome. Trust me. If you were ever lucky enough to have me, you wouldn't want to share. Wanna see me? Mackenzie Brothers. I got them 25 years apiece. You? You wouldn't have gotten shit without me. Night owl murders, baby. Oh, don't do that. What kind of person doesn't high-five another person? A person who's not 10 years old. Oh, so you mean like a dick? No, I mean like the guy that can fire you on the spot. Night owl murders, baby. All right, okay, okay. All kidding aside, Great job. Thank you. That's not why I called you down here. Look, Harvey, you're killing it. And you've been killing it. And I think it's time that you got rewarded for it. Head litigator. Look, I know you got a deal with Jessica to come back. But I'm telling you, in 10 years, you could be me. You think about it. In the meantime, celebrate the win. Just stay away from my scotch. Compliments of Cameron Dennis. Harvey, this isn't just winning a case. This is head litigator. Scotch isn't good enough. We need, like, a ritual or something. What'd you have in mind? I don't know. I have an idea. I'm listening. Was well, that something a gentleman should say out loud? Oh. Well, then I'm willing to pretend that you're a gentleman. You are definitely not a gentleman. What will we even do it with? Whipped cream? Enough about this conversation. I want to revisit our earlier one. This is our earlier one. Come on. You know you've thought about it. Yeah, I think about a lot of things. And? You would. But I won't. You're afraid you'd fall for me. Oh, please. If anybody's falling for anybody, it would be you for me. Sounds like a challenge. One you are never going to get to take. Why not? Because I don't get involved with men that I work with. OK, then you're fired. About time. What did I ever do to you? Nothing. I get your chair. Bertha, what are you doing here so late? Don't get all up in my business just because I interrupted you hitting on Red. How do you know I'm hitting on her? Two glasses of scotch and you. I found a McKenzie file in the McAllister box. You're welcome. And you better get Dennis' scotch back. He won't like that. What's wrong? We left out a piece of discovery. Will it screw us? It just did. Nothing ever changes around here. It's good to see you too, Harvey. Now, what was so important that you just had to see me? I want to talk to you about extending my time at the DA's office. 
Come with me. Now, what's Cameron Dennis offering you? Why does he have to be offering me something? Because he knows if you want to keep someone in your house, offer them a better room. Head litigator. Do you want to stay there because it's a step up? Or because you can see yourself there in 10 years? Why do you want to know? Because I have a promotion ready for you right here. What are you talking about? Daniel Hardman and I are taking Gordon Schmidt and Van Dyke down. That's why we're up here. Did you think we were going to make out? Man can hope. <laughs> what? You sure you want to take control in the night? Night times when they're sleeping. Telling them you're coming shows them respect. Not telling them shows them more. What about honor? Harvey, we're lawyers. We're not in the honor business. What did I always tell you when you were here? Don't judge a man until you've walked a mile in his shoes. Well, if you're ever in these babies, we'll see if you feel the same way. What the hell is this? It's paperwork for the McKenzie deal. Type it up and get it up. No, that report was supposed to be disclosed during discovery. If you type up what I gave you, you'd know I'm disclosing it now. No, you're sticking it in there now as if it's always been there. It's called bluffing, okay? It's what I do. That's how I got the confession in the first place. It's called It's what do, and it's how innocent people sometimes end up in prison. Watch yourself. Excuse me? That toxicology report doesn't change the fact that those two assholes killed that woman. And you being an asshole to me doesn't change the fact that you are breaking the law. I'm not breaking the law. I put the goddamn thing in there. They can find it if they can think to look. Harvey, you are making a huge... That's enough! I'm here. You're here. Do your job. You want to see me? What the hell is this? It's the McKenzie phone. I know what it is. What the hell did you put in the fine print? You too? You're going to give me about not disclosing this report? Not disclosing it? You gave it to him on a silver platter. I don't understand. You want me to take it out? I don't want you to do shit. I've already taken it out. And if I'd wanted it disclosed, I wouldn't have misfiled it in the first place. You buried it? You're damn right I did. Cameron. Look, I'm all for skirting the law, but this is breaking the law. So is killing that woman, and I'm not going to let those two assholes walk because our eyewitness had a few beers at the ball game. They won't walk. That's why I put it in the fine print. You think you're the first guy to have this idea? Nobody does it because it doesn't work. Well, that's exactly why it can work. They won't think to look at it because nobody has the balls to do it. And what if they do? And these guys get out and they murder your brother or your father or your cousin? Because I tell you right now, they're going to murder someone. I don't feel comfortable. With I don't this. give a whether you feel comfortable or not. This is my case. We're not disclosing it. It's done. Cameron. I told you this before. Don't make me tell you again. I'm here. You're here. Do your job. The McKenzie deal came back. Two murderers down. Don't you want to ask me if they saw the fine print? Oh, no, of course you don't. Because you know they didn't because that report wasn't in the fine print anymore. Donna. Cameron made you take it out, didn't he? How'd you know? When I do my Donna shit with you, it's not just for fun. It's my job. Now, why don't you tell me why you didn't tell me? Because you hated me when I was working in the gray. This is the black. I didn't hate you. I was trying to stop you. And the truth is, what you were doing was right on the line. What he is making you do, that's illegal. It's one time, and it's not my case. It might not be your case, but it's definitely not just one time. I was here all night going through his past cases. How many? Too many. And I'll tell you another thing. I bet his first time he thought would be his last time. Donna. If you want somebody to just sit at her desk, answer your phones, and pick up your dry cleaning, then put out a one ad, because that's not me. I'm going to tell you what I think. And what I think is, if you do this, you're going to keep doing it. Harvey. Just the man I wanted to see. Why is that? I wanted you to be the first to know I'm looking at my new head litigator. I'm afraid you're not. And why is that? Because after I show you this, you're going to demand this. You disclose that report. That affidavit says I made a mistake, an honest mistake. And this one says, as my penance, I'm resigning. So you're just going to put two killers back on the street? 
If you're half the prosecutor you say you are, you can still put them away. And I don't give a shit whether you feel comfortable with that or not, because you said it was your case, but you made it my case. I made it our case, because I thought you were about putting bad guys behind bars. Cameron, you asked, what if they got out and killed my father? Well, I think the question is, what if my father found out what I did to put them in? You goddamn pussy. The only thing that makes me a pussy is that I didn't send that affidavit in the second I found out.